Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day, and if you are, hit that like button. We're here with Haley from Massive Darkness 2 of the Tinkerers. She's primed in Desert Yellow, and that's to save a lot of time painting this miniature. We're starting off with a little bit of Monster Brown here, and we're going to be doing this on her boots, her gloves, and I believe that is all, actually. Now, the point is of her being primed in Desert Yellow is because her outfit was pretty much a light, light yellow. Or, not light yellow, but like this color is desert sand color like and I just wanted to save myself time painting this miniature and that's what you want to do when you're trying to get table ready miniatures you want to save time and army painters primers are great for that because they're such a great color range all right vampire red is next we're gonna be doing her beautiful cape with this beautiful red as you can see now it is very um, clear it is very watered down uh, or very medium heavy you really gotta shake this bottle and even that sometimes doesn't enough so i put on a second coat off camera just to get it really popping um so you let it dry a bit and you go ahead and put that second coat on and army painter paints are great for that uh there's also a you could i could have used like you know other reds you can use any other red you want but this one just pops flat brown now from vallejo uh, i just like this brown because it covers very well from vallejo it's actually one of my favorite browns uh, and it was perfect for all her little satchels her little clips her belts uh, i use it also on the hilt of her hammer uh, it's just it's a beautiful vallejo model colors they're so well done i find like and i don't use them often enough uh, because i have all the army painter colors i don't necessarily want to get into vallejo uh but if i start running out of a color i might try and find a vallejo model or game color that's equivalent to it and start using it that way uh so yeah just you know you go around you do these little belt buckles everywhere on her and like i said her hammer there and all that so Moving on to some amber skin now. This is going to be again for her skin, her hands, and her face. Now, I do paint over her goggles, which is not a big deal because we will paint over them later anyways. Uh, so at least this way, it gets all the paint everywhere that you need it to be to get the coverage you need as well. Amber skin is from their skin tones collection from the Amber Painter, so you'll only find there. Troll claws now for her nice, dirty blonde hair. And surprisingly enough, I really like this color for dirty blonde hair. Uh, it's better than Bay Blonde anyways. Uh, plate Mel Metal now. We're going to be putting all the metallic parts on. We're going to be doing a hammer of hers. That big uh, uh, vice grip or whatever you want to call that thing. That looks like a teeth puller to me. Uh, those little miniature teeth pullers. But this one's like massive. Um, and I'm going to do her goggles of course with this. Uh, so you just be very careful with that. When you're doing her goggles. And plate metal metal is like less shiny and less dark than other ones so uh dark tone now we're gonna be putting this on the entire miniature make sure your paint is dry because i guess my gun metal at one point was not dry somewhere and i did rub it off and start rubbing it onto other parts of the miniature i kind of cleared it up but it doesn't show thankfully and i'm sorry i went a little off camera here i don't know why i think i hit my phone uh, anyways, yeah, put it everywhere on her, this dark tone. I mean, yeah, you could have put some skin tone on her instead. But this really gives her this dirty engineer look. Like, as if she's been working with a with a furnace all day and the smoke is coming out. Anyways, there you go, folks. Short and sweet. Haley is painted and ready for the table. I added some cool stuff to her base. Some tough, some barbed wire. Just to look like she's been working. I want to thank you guys, and we'll catch you all in the next one.